Okay, so today I'm going to talk about how you should pick your preferences when you're ranking different areas for GP training. Now, there are a lot of myths about this, and unfortunately some doctors end up not getting the offer they want because they're ranking in the wrong way. So ranking is really, really simple. All right? If you follow three simple rules, then you maximize your chance of getting an offer in the place that you want to spend your training. So first thing is, do some research early on in the process. Even before you apply, that's the best time to be doing some research. So if there are certain areas in the country that you think you might like to uh, work in, you know, you could post into the group, you could ask people that are already working there. You can use things like Google to just look at things like, you know, for example, if you've got young school age kids and you want to know of uh, a particular grammar schools, if they're availability, you know, research these things. It's great now compared to like when I was applying, when a lot of things weren't available as easily. But now you can find most things, lots of things that you can do, but do some research. And if you could work anywhere in the UK, where would that be? That's what you're going to put as your number one area. Now, if there were no jobs there, if you could work anywhere else, where would that be? Put that number two. Keep doing this until you've picked all the places that you're happy to accept for at least three years. Rank things based on your genuine preference. So number one should always be what is your actual first choice. Number two should always be what is your actual second choice and so on. Do not rank anywhere that you do not want or that you're not happy to accept for the next three years. It's pointless. It actually decreases your chance of getting an offer in the place that you want. Why? Because after the upgrade deadline, only doctors who are still on the waiting list and who haven't received any offers are eligible for any jobs. So if you've put a place that you don't want and you get an offer there and you reject it, you won't get any more offers. Your application is withdrawn for that round. So you're not going to have a job. If you accept it, and you don't get an upgrade, again, you're committed to going to that place, the place you never wanted. Why would you put it? All right. So only rank places that you're happy to accept. So whatever is your first place, put that number one. Makes sense, right? Really logical. And then you don't need to change them after that at all. You can change them, but you don't need to. If you've already ranked everything that you want and only those places that you are happy to accept and you rank them based on genuine preference, you don't need to change them at all throughout the whole process. You just have to wait and hopefully you get your first choice. So to recap, rule number one, start researching early. Rule number two, rank all the places you would accept based on genuine preference. Rule number three, do not rank anywhere you would not accept. Hope that's helpful. All the best.